Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League applied to trademark hashtag Humboldt Strong along with eight other phrases that emerged in the aftermath of the tragedy. The SJHL felt the trademark was a natural step for them to take because the league already controls the proprietary and broadcast rights for each of the teams. On April 20th the league applied for the trademark. The Broncos said they have been aware of the applications and were hoping to collaborate with the SJHL to resolve the issue. The trademark is the league's proactive approach to handle the influx of Humboldt Strong apparel being sold following the crash. While it's unclear what the league plans to do with the trademark pending its approval, the SJHL partnered with a Regina-based clothing company three days after the crash to sell Humboldt Strong shirts. A Humboldt man is campaigning to have Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League drop the Humboldt Strong trademark application. The SJHL never even consulted the Broncos and went ahead and started producing the shirts claiming they are trying to do this to stop unauthorized production of merchandise when they are the biggest offenders themselves. The man is a city councillor in Humboldt but said he is not acting in that capacity when it comes to the campaign. The right to something belongs to whoever uses it first, according to a Toronto-based lawyer and trademark expert. Anyone can also file a trademark application if they intend to use the trademark. There is a not very frequently used provision in the Trademarks Act which allows someone to oppose on the basis that applicant couldn't have been satisfied that it was entitled to the mark. For that to succeed the Trademarks Opposition Board would need to be shown there was some bad faith on behalf of the applicant when the application was made. According to the SJHL all proceeds from the t-shirt sales are going to the SJHL assistance program, which would provide mental health supports to players in the league. The t-shirts were sold for $34.99 each and the Broncos said they don't endorse the league's fundraising. The team took on the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League after it applied to trademark phrases that also included healing is in the game and sticks on the porch. On May 18th the league's board of governors met and unanimously agreed that those trademarks should belong to the team and the community. They are working through the final stages of that process to ensure that it falls in the rightful hands of the Humboldt Broncos and the whole Humboldt community. The Board of Governors for the League said it was an easy decision for the trademark and other slogans to be held by the team. The League failed to properly communicate their intentions to the team because they were still dealing with the aftermath of the crash and the only reason they had initially trademarked it was so no one else would, and they are in the process of making sure the applications are transferred to the Humboldt Broncos. Instead of going ahead and trademarking it so no one else would, the league should have asked the Broncos team if they would rather want to trademark it instead. Because it would make sense for the team to have the trademark even though trademarking words were probably not in their plans. And I don't believe anyone else would think of spending money to trademark those words. And if someone by chance did then so be it. It is just a tactic to make money off of their loss. The team has created the Humboldt Strong Community Foundation, which continues to raise money for the players, employees, families and volunteers, as well as first responders and any others who were affected by the crash. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.